Okay, in order to do a problem like this, you really do have to draw a diagram and carefully label the given information. So I put tower A at the origin and tower B 2.5 miles to the right. Uh, the bearing of the fire from Tower A is 36 degrees 20 minutes at north, 20, 36 degrees 20 minutes east, which means we can find this angle right here by subtracting from 90, which I've done right here. Theta sub 2. Uh, well, the bearing of the fire from Tower B is north 53 degrees 40 minutes west so theta sub 2 is 36 degrees 20 minutes because we can subtract from 90 and then to get this angle surprisingly these two add up to 90 so they're complementary which means that this is actually a right angle so we can use trigonometry i mean uh right triangle trigonometry to solve for this distance right here the distance from b to the fire the sine of theta sub one equals opposite which i labeled d over the hypotenuse which is 2.5 so d equals 2.5 times the sine of 53 degrees 40 minutes you're going to do this on a calculator you got to convert the 40 minutes to degrees that's 40 sixtieths of a degree which reduces to two-thirds and there's the calculation looks like 2.01 miles rounded to the nearest hundredth of a mile and by the way I make the observation here that there's other ways to do this problem another way to do it would be to find the equations of these two lines which you could do the slopes these are actually, this is actually the slope. The tangent of that angle is actually the slope of that line. And um, the slope of this line is the tangent of 90 plus 53 degrees, 40 minutes. So we're going for, whoop. Oh. Slid that up too far. But anyway, if you find the equation of those two lines, you could find the point of intersection and then find the distance from A to B, which is what I, here we go. What I did here on Desmos. And I'll send a link to uh, the Desmos graph where this was done so you can take a look. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.